you know, many don't realize this. But I want you to know, friends, this morning, that biblically, you know what? We move. We move. We make decisions and behave according to the perception and comprehension of our mind. Right? Our behavior, listen to this, our behavior, our actions, and manner of making decisions have roots in our mind. In fact, you know, in fact, the truth is, our problems, our troubles, our fears in life sometimes grow out or originates from dito. Yung mga fears natin na gagaling sa ating isipan. And the worst is, listen to this, negative thoughts can paralyze or freeze up one's entire being and inhibit progress. Pag hindi po maganda yung mental life natin, hindi sound, you know what? Ihinder niya ang pagkakaroon ng mabungang buhay. Psychologist asserts that the mind, the body, and the spirit are inextricably interconnected. And when the mind, listen to this, when the mind is not healthy, pag hindi healthy yung mind mo, pati yung katawan mo, at yung spirito mo, hindi rin healthy. Do you agree with me? Sabihin mo sa kapatid mo, dapat magkaroon ka ng healthy man. Sina, sabihin mo sa kapatid mo. Amen? O, oh, makinig na kayo, makinig na kayo. When the mind, when the mind is not healthy, the body and the spirit also suffers. And healthy mind, you know what, have an adverse effect on the body and the spirit. And so all together, listen to this. The mind forms or shapes the totality, the entirety of a human being. And to make it personal, listen to this, to make it personal, you know what, we are a finished product of our mind. We are a finished product of our mind. Sir, Sir Francis Bacon was asked what he thought the outlook was for the next, next generation. And he answered, tell me what the young people are thinking and I'll tell you. Okay? What I'm trying to drive this morning is our life is shaped by our mind. And I would say the thought, thought produce actions, actions produce habits, and habits what? Produce lifestyle. The second assertion about the mind. The mind is the battleground for sin. I want you to know that. The mind is the battleground for sin. When I say the battleground for sin, I mean it is the avenue of temptation. The mind is the avenue of temptation. It is where temptation begins and sin is conceived. You know what? Temptation, temptation is not something out there or something external that we see and we say, I am tempted and sin. I would like you to be informed that all temptations happen in the mind. And it is when our mind and desire succumb or yield to temptation that we sin against God. That's how, that's how Eve sinned against God. Can you still remember the story 
of Eve in the Garden of Eden. You know what? The devil pursued and attacked, attacked Eve's mind by planting what? Seeds of doubt and or confusion. And Satan said to him, Did God really, really, did God really tell you not to eat the fruit of it, of, of uh, any fruit in the garden? Sabi ng Diablo sa kanya, Hindi yan ang sinabi ng Panginoon. I think that is not what God said, said. Oh, look at me, said the devil. I will assure you, if you eat, if you gonna eat of the fruit of the forbidden tree in the middle of the garden, you know what? He said, you will be like God. You will be like God and know what is good and bad. It is not true that you will die. Come on, eat it. Kainin mo. You know, Satan caused Eve to doubt God's word or command. And he's doing also today. He's doing the same thing today. The devil, my prince, today is in his utmost planting seeds of doubt concerning the accuracy of the word of God. And you know what? His goal is, his goal is to confuse. His goal is to deceive. And if possible, control the minds of his children, the children of God. Do you know, do you know what will happen, friends, if the devil got control of your mind? Alam po ba ninyong mangyayari pag nakontrol ng Diablo ang iyong pag-iisip? If the devil controls our mind, you know what? We lose our ability to make godly and profitable decisions. Pag nakontrol ng Diablo ang iyong isipan, hindi ka magkakaroon ng maganda at mabungang pasya sa buhay. And therefore, our mind is very important. It is our decision-making mechanism. The truth is, if we lose an arm or leg, we are barely restricted, right? We can still make good decisions and enjoy a good quality of life kahit wala kang pa. But listen, but if we lose our, our mind under the control of the devil, you know what? We will forfeit our right to choose, especially the destiny of our life. And so what I'm trying to elucidate, my friends, this morning is the, the mind is the battleground for sin and it is the devil's ultimate goal to control it so that you will never enjoy life to the fullest. And the third and the last assertion about the mind is the mind is the mind is Okay. The mind is the key to peace and happiness. Are you still with me? Yes. Prophet Isaiah affirmed this assertion. He said, The mind that continually dwells and abides in God reaps perfect peace and happiness. You know what? Wrong or corrupt is the opposite of perfect. Right? And the, re the lesson here is, if we have a corrupt mind, if we have an unhealthy mind, you know what? We are deprived of the opportunity to live a life of peace and happiness. Real peace, lesson to this. Real peace or happiness is born out of a healthy mind. A healthy mind is the result, you know, of making God the very center of our thought life. In closing this morning, before closing my message today, this is my last message. I want you to understand the sound mind or healthy mind will help us find our way through the end or coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
And I would like to repeat again my statement. I always say this statement. Healthy mind is a choice. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo. Healthy mind is a choice. Okay, listen to me now. Healthy mind is a choice. It is a choice that requires lifelong attention and action. And therefore, my friends, if you if you want to have a sound mind or healthy mind, you have to take these essential steps or actions in your life. Do you want to have a healthy mind and ready for the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ? You've got, my friends, to take these essential steps or actions in your life. Number one, if you want to have a sound mind, feed your mind with truth. Amen. Amen. The mind, the, the truth, my friends, here is the Word of God. Are you with me? The truth is the Word of God. You know what? If we constantly feed our mind with the Word of God, we will have a renewed mind. Magkakaroon tayo ng renewed mind. We'll have a transformed mind. We'll have, my friends, a clean and as well as pure mind. Regular feeding on the Word is the key, my friends, to wellness of life and mind. And the principle is, here is, like the principle of nutrition. Okay? My wife, Lydia, is a nutritionist. That's the work of my wife in America. You know what? The principle, here is the principle of nutrition. You know what? Junk food, listen to this. Junk food is the opposite of good food. Right? And junk food refers to foods that that contribute lots of calories and lesser in nutritional value. Mga sweet cereal. Yun ang sinong mahilig dito yun. You know what? The worst is junk foods, you know, have adverse effect on our health. Now listen, so that you will understand what I'm saying this morning. You know what? The word of God is like my friends to a like to a good food with great nutritional value. And listen, when we daily feed our mind with the word of God, healthy, good, pure, and diluted thoughts emerge, not junk thoughts. Alam nyo mga kapatid, purjak yung mga na-food na yung nandoon sa isa.